my night. It's May 1st. Happy May. We're in May school again. And we're going on a picnic. Some friends today, because today is like Labor Day. Um, yeah, we're going on a picnic today with some friends. I'm just gonna prepare like a salad and then the rest will be like a joint thing. It's a small gathering, like it's three people. <laughs> I wanted to really speak a little life. However, I haven't started it and I'm not about to carry this all throughout this bit when I haven't started it. <laughs> so I'm gonna take Susan Sontag's notes on him that I said a long time ago I was gonna read and I should be able to read the entirety of it today. So, we'll see, but it's pretty small, and yeah, and I think that's it, and if by any chance I finish this, I do have on my phone an ebook of Happy Place by Emily Henry, so I have options, you're just never gonna see me read that because it's on my phone. <laughs> And yeah, I don't think you have any updates aside from Dawn. I am Max, by the way. I like to read and share my incoherent thoughts on the internet. Welcome, if you're new, and welcome back. If you're not, I hope you have a nice day, wherever you are. Today's Tuesday. We're going on yet another interview. This is the fit. Just a white shirt, black trousers, all star. And yeah, we're going. And hopefully, this is the last one. spoke to you I was going to an interview yes yesterday <clears throat> I didn't have an interview I think it went okay let's see if I got the job or not on Monday I said I was gonna read the entirety of notes on camp by Susan Sontag and that ended up not being true but I did finish it yesterday and I liked it I liked it a lot 
camp was always a thing that I know, that I knew what it was, but couldn't put into words. She put it into words, very easy to understand. The only complaint that I have is with the examples because I don't understand some of them. I don't. I'm not saying they're not good examples and that they're not right. I'm saying I, when she, when you give an example, it's supposed to illustrate your point. But when you mention something and I don't have enough knowledge and culture to understand what that is, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna entirely get your point. I started a little life. I did. I am now scared for my life because this is really, really long. Do I want to commit? I'm 70 pages in. In a normal book, 70 pages is like a significant portion. It's like a quarter, a fifth. I'm like a 5% in. <laughs> and it's discouraging me. I'm not gonna read this in a week. I'm not, I'm a slow reader. I take my time. Even if I have a lot of free time, I, I'm not gonna read 800 pages in a week. I'm not, so. I'll probably do several vlogs just as I'm reading this. I don't know if I'll pick something up other than this in the meantime, just like I have Mary Oliver's DreamWork poetry collection and I feel like that could be nice like nature poetry to cut the sadness this is gonna make me feel yeah i don't know we'll see i think that's all i have to share not a lot of updates not a lot of reading not a lot of activities done or to do so okay i'll see you later I'm currently at El Cartinus waiting for a friend because we decided to meet up for coffee because I have to give her something for her graduation. Her graduation is this weekend so I'm not going to see her before that so I have to give it to her now. I almost never come here because I don't really like this place but it was convenient for her and I'm nothing if not Accommodating. I'm on my way to my friend's house because we're having dinner. Hi! Today's Sunday, it's May 7th. It's Mother's Day. Um, because of course it is. I came home for the weekend because I had family, lunches, dinners, everything. So I haven't done a lot of reading, but I am a fifth of the way through of A Little Life by Anya Yangahara, and I am enjoying it. It's really long, it's going to take a really long time, but so far we're following four friends. Malcolm, William, JB, and Jude. 
and we have all of their perspectives. The last chapter was just Jude's perspective and he's like the traumatized person. Uh, all the others have their own experiences, good, bad and everything. But obviously Jude is the one that dealt with trauma since very early in his life. Like he has... I don't think I'm going into detail, actually I'm not. I'm not going into detail about what he has been through. Not only because it's traumatizing, but like I'm not really sure because it hasn't been um, clarified yet. I'm sure the author is going to go into great detail that maybe isn't necessary, but I have, I'm not there yet, so I don't really know, but I am enjoying it. I'm, I don't know. It's hard to tell when I've only read a fifth, even though it's almost 200 pages. <laughs> but yeah, that's where I'm on. I'm gonna read for a little bit before I have to go back to Lisbon. Hello, hello. It's been some time. I've been back and forth between Lisbon, my parents' house. I've been everywhere. I This vlog's a mess. I'm just gonna give you some thoughts on what I'm reading right now and then I'm gonna wrap it up here. I am making progress in a little life and I am really, really liking it. I have cried a bunch and I would have cried more if I was at home because not at home like here but because I've been traveling back and forth from Lisbon to here and from here to Lisbon I've been on a lot of trains a lot of buses and things like that and I've been reading this on public transportation because I read a lot on public transport if you have to leave the house and use public transportation like that's a good way to pass the time and to make sure that your time is like productive and you're not wasting it just by looking out the window like not that looking out the window is bad but when you do the same thing every day um it's boring i get bored really really quickly when i was a child i was a nightmare to travel with because i would get bored but since i started reading Traveling has been much better for everyone involved <laughs> because I can read while traveling. Like, it doesn't matter to me. I don't get sick at all. I love to read on the bus, on the train. So, yeah, I've been reading a little life. I've been fighting a lot against myself to not cry in the train. And I've spilled some tears in the train in the past, in during the <laughs> I don't think I said what this is about, but this is about a group of friends and it spends their whole life. It starts out in college and we're now onto their 40s. They're on their 40s. And it's so interesting because it's so interesting because obviously people talk about this for uh, being very traumatizing because the characters go through so much. 
but also it's really heartwarming in a way in heartbreaking in another way because friendship like to me the most important thing and the thing that have made me cry several times was the friendship aspect of it the things that have made me emotional were the friendship aspects like their friendship that they're always there for each other or that sometimes they're not and how the friendship evolves from college days and seeing everyone everybody all day every day to living in the same space to getting out of college and sharing a crappy house and that those are normal things those are normal things some of other stuff not as normal not as common but the friendship aspect is very it's what stands out to me so far and it's really nice to see friendships evolve in that way on how they evolved throughout their 20s where they were still living together but they they didn't all live together and they saw each other like once a week or once every two weeks to their 30s where they're a little bit more stable they have stable jobs some of them um they have houses apartments in New York which is unbelievable this isn't set in any specific year and that is really interesting because they have phones they have phones and they can afford to live in New York City at some point in the book not in the beginning but at some point in the book they can afford to live and have houses there and i just wonder in what economy they work a lot and they have a lot of money they're successful people all around like i'm when i say they are some of them are some of them aren't their paths are not all equal but like some of them have gone to they've gone to college they've gone to grad school they live in new york they have careers good careers some of them so that is also interesting in how in their 40s now they're settling down some of them <laughs> this is just insane something and then some of them because it obviously in all separate phases of their lives things don't apply to all of them because people move at different paces and have different life paths and like life is not the same for everybody else and for everybody in this book and that applies and even to the people around you some people will have a family at like 25 in like their own family they get married and have babies and have children uh while others are like still living at their parents house that happens in real life that's not ex an example of the book that's just a random example i am really liking it however i've got to a point where the last chapter it made me really cry and it wasn't about the friendship i wouldn't say it was very hard to read but i did cry while i was reading that happens sometimes to me like i cry at everything but i don't get traumatized like I don't need to stop reading so far I haven't had that need. I'm on page 360 386 I believe. Yes, 386. I'm going to the second chapter of the axiom of equality. But I am really liking it. Is it five stars though? Is it the best book I've ever read? I still have more than half to go. So maybe it is Maybe it is. Anyways, tell me if you've read A Little Life. Tell me what you thought of it. If you have read it. This is not me recommending A Little Life. People who say that it's their favorite book don't recommend it. I'm also not going to recommend it. I haven't finished it. The worst is yet to come. So, yeah. But if you have read it, please tell me what you thought of it. No spoilers. Have I spoiled something? I don't think I have. I think I I try not to be spoilery, but if I have spoiled something, I'm so sorry, but I don't think I would consider any of the things that I talked about a spoiler. And also tell me what you're reading right now and what you are thinking of it and if you recommend it and yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed your time here. Bye.